Hello all you beautiful people out there, what is going on? This is your friend Brittick, coming at you fast with some more Call of Duty Ghost gameplay, and I know I was a hypocrite, guys. I said I wasn't going to play this game anymore, but I decided that I should put up some Call of Duty gameplay if I'm going to be talking about the next Call of Duty game, Advanced Warfare. So what's this video? It's going to be a quick speed run video for you guys. Talking about my general thoughts about the game after seeing the multiplayer reveal the entirety of it, the full hour of it, my thoughts in a nutshell. Then I'll be doing very specific videos throughout these next couple of days talking about what I think about the game specifically and its different points. But general rundown, I think it's going to be awesome. I was blown away by the reveal. I was not expecting the multiplayer to be so large. And you're either going to be all the way on this or not even close to being okay with this. You're either going to be all about the future or none about the future and just everything about the past. But in my opinion, I love futuristic games and I love what Call of Duty is doing with this, with the EXO movement and everything. It's going to add a new dynamic to the game. It's going to teach players how to adapt. It's going to be absolutely epic and beautiful and sexy-licious. And I just cannot, cannot wait. I think the EXO abilities... Uh, again, add verticality to the map, so it's going to be way, way different. It looks like the game is the fastest-paced Call of Duty game we've ever had. Probably one of the fastest-paced first-person shooters ever to be made because of all the abilities and everything. The heavy weapons, uh, you know, uh, some people don't like that idea. I think it's fine. The lasers don't look too overpowered. They look pretty good, but at the same time, you know, a, a weapon with bullets will definitely out-damage a laser rifle, in my opinion. By the way, it looks looks at it. The gunfights look fun again. They don't feel, I don't know, they don't feel melty like in Call of Duty Ghosts where if you were shot, you basically died in two shots every single time. You just died way too quick in that game and in this game it seems more relatable to Black Ops 2 and that's just in general. This game looked a lot like Black Ops 2. I feel like this game got a lot of its inspiration from Black Ops 2 and obviously that's a good thing because now instead of pick 10, there's the pick 13 which is awesome. You can modify your score streaks, which I was just like, what? You can modify score streaks, that's insane. You can have co-op score streaks, which add a new level to the game as well. Um, and then you have all the eSports support, of course, all of the eSports support, which I'm super excited for. I'm so glad that Sledgehammer is actually thinking about the competitive gamer. They like the tournaments. I actually, last time I went to MLG Anaheim, I saw the crew of Sledgehammer games, all the guys that you saw at the multiplayer reveal, if you did see it. I saw all of them. I met them in person. They're all really cool people. And uh, they love competitive. They were there every single day. Of, uh, of the event, just watching wow. all the tournaments. So I'm so glad that they're supporting esports a lot. Competitive playlists, ranked ladders, so maybe like another kind of league play kind of thing, maybe, possibly, maybe quite. So yeah, so I'm pretty excited about that. Of course, the new game modes as well, like the war game mode, super excited to have that return, and as well as the new game mode uplink, that looks like basketball, I'll be covering that specifically as well. That'd be super cool. And the supply drops are gonna add a longevity to the game that it so well deserves but all of that will be covered in way more specifics if you guys are excited for this game please drop a like on this video comment down in the section below if you're excited if you're not excited why why not and all that kind of good stuff and stay tuned make sure you hit that subscribe button for more call of duty advanced warfare tips and tricks and information videos thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed and as always guys have a wonderful day